here with my grandson Oliver, standing next to one of the beautiful lake flies from our public art project. This is called Gulliver's Travels. It was by artist Deb Bartlett and was sponsored by the Oshkosh Convention and Visitors Bureau. It's one of many that have been installed throughout the city in the last week or so. I was at a League of Wisconsin Municipalities conference, I think it's been four years now, and one of the speakers was an author of a book called For the Love of Cities. His name was Peter Kijama, and he was talking about fun things cities do. And I was sitting next to Councilman Peck, and we both looked at each other and said, the lake fly. And from there, that's how the whole lake fly art project started. We received a grant from the League of Wisconsin Municipalities and the WIA Trust. They award grants every year, $3,000 to three communities in the state for various art projects. We used the grant to have the prototype of the lake fly made, and that's how the whole project began locally. And then we had a call to artists to have them submit uh, drawings. We contacted sponsors, and then the sponsors selected the, the artist to, to reproduce the piece for them. So a lot of local businesses and groups got behind this whole project. Unity and community, the public had a chance to vote on which ones they liked, and that's how we selected the, the first, second, third winners. That was the first hatching. We will have another hatching come next May is when the lake flies normally hatch. So, and they may be different sizes, doing different things. We're producing a map that will be available on the city website so you can take a tour and see where all these, these great, fun art objects are. You know, one thing in the whole process was you know, making sure these were safe and secure. The lake flies are a fiberglass. Our Parks Department worked with the uh, Fox Valley Technical College to design these bases to make sure that they were secure, sturdy. We know kids might try to climb on them. We wanted nothing that would tip over. So and they're, they're rather substantial bases for little guys like this. But uh, it was really a collaborative effort in the community. A lot of creativity went into these, and it, it was a fun project. We hope it becomes an annual thing, as I said. This was the first hatching. We'll have a second hatching next year, next May.